guy's job is to vacuum tool stage. I've been known to wear some really weird shit in my day. But I don't think I've ever worn a penguin costume or a what the fuck are you, dude? A banana or a rabbit? Are you a turtle? Put your fucking hat back on. If I have to wear this silly heavy helmet this whole fucking show, you need to put your shit back on and leave it on till the end of the show. <laughs> it's only fair. So I ask again, are you a fucking banana or a fucking rabbit? What are you? Because clearly I'm dressed like an asshole. It's clear. No questions. Because, because I don't normally go off on a rant. It's not something you're used to. I would like to ask your permission to go off on a couple minute rant. Today, right now, somewhere in the world, Someone is peacefully giving everything they have for somebody else. Somewhere else in the world, that same person, the same human being, is doing a monstrous thing to somebody else. It seems to be that's the way of the universe. I don't know if there's any way to fix it. Yesterday was the eight year anniversary of Robert Miller, who gave his life for his friend who's here tonight, Nick. Nick and Robert's favorite song was what you just heard, Vicarious. So Nick gave me a rifle with Robert's information on it and the lyrics to Vicarious. The universe is hostile and impersonal. I posted that photo and I got a lot of shit for it from a bunch of people who didn't really recognize the sacrifice that Robert had made and the gesture that I was making, thanking Nick for that rifle. I get that most people think that Tool is all about reaching for a higher consciousness digging a little deeper for some spiritual awareness. And that maybe posting that photo had something to do with endorsing the military industrial complex or something silly. I'm not making any claims either way. However, I do acknowledge that some people were upset. This is not an apology at fucking all. This is just me acknowledging that people were upset by that, thinking that Tool is just that, a higher spiritual path. So I'd like to do a song about digging a little deeper, looking for that spirituality, reaching for that higher consciousness with a song that you probably all like about one person sticking his fist up the ass of another person.
Good evening, San Francisco, night two. This is San Francisco, right? That big, long-ass face jam, and not a single one of you hand dances. That's a shame, San Francisco. Until I see hand dancing Jerry Garcia style. hand dancers. It's, a, it's like Jerry's not even dead. You know, if there's an earthquake in Los Angeles, most likely there's going to be an earthquake here too. So... This next song goes out to my jiu-jitsu brothers and gorilla. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Maybe we'll stay. Maybe. if you've heard this one before. A whale's vagina. <laughs> Hello, San Diego. We recently, only a few days ago, played San Francisco. As you know, most people in San Francisco are vegans, male feminists, and the like. And they were visibly offended when I mentioned the word rape you. So we've since changed it to metaphorically rape you with a metaphorical Rhinoceros tusk. That story was a lie. We didn't change the song for those vegans and their feminists. And the like. But we did tell them that seeing as they are on the same fault line that runs through Southern California, that they, just like you fucks, are doomed. Before we finish up, if I may, by a round of applause, do we have any 
retired, active, or former military here tonight. We thank you for your service. Thank you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Because of them. Before we get very much farther, just making sure, this is San Diego, right? Because it's starting to sound a little bit like LA. So just, you know, San Diego, right? Good to see you, Bakersfield. This is the part that I insert some kind of quippy, sarcastic comment before I tell you why you're gonna die in an awful earthquake. Write it in your mind, giggle out loud, and deal with it. <sighs> Congratulations, you made it. <laughs> See you soon. Maybe. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Okay, one more. What's up, Texas? This is Texas, right? Tell a joke first, is that all right? Say no, because I can't remember the joke. Don't act like you know what's happening right now. Maybe we're going to do a different song with Stank Fist.
myself into tonight. Let's see who's awake out there. Boomer. And that's how we do it in fucking Oklahoma. Still smell marijuana. Yeah! Here's what I know about Oklahoma. What about Oklahoma? All those people on the West Coast, when the big one hits, and they become fossil fuels. People in Oklahoma are gonna hitch on to a tornado and ride on over the beach. Because you're some tough motherfuckers. Anyway, where were we? Two reasons. Two reasons this is a good night. One, my wife's from Oklahoma. Yes, I said wife, you cougars can calm down and go back to your holes. And two, Arizona Cardinals just beat the Green Bay in overtime, so. You know. Unfortunately for Danny, Kansas, Kansas City Chiefs did not win. This is assuming all you people give a shit about that, which I don't normally do. At least we got the talk. Thank you, good night. So here's the 
deal. The world has gone straight to fucking hell. You can't say vagina, you can't say retard. <laughs> and apparently Ray was no longer funny. So we have to change the words of the song to say metaphorically Ray you so we don't offend <laughs> anyone. Whoever you might be. So what we'd like to have you do is if you're offended by the word rape you, if you could just go <laughs> so we could do the song. It looks like Nashville, but it doesn't sound like Nashville. That's kind of the outskirts of Nashville. Now there's, then there's Nashville. There you have it. You know, it's usually not wise to get political at a rock show. But with all the election hubbub going on, I had to throw my political asshole hat in the ring. So, to me, the only clear choice is David Bowie and Lemmy. It's the only thing that will save our souls from eternal damnation. You don't have earthquakes or tidal waves, but you certainly have snowstorms. We persevere. Although snow can be beautiful at times, it can also suck a big bag of salty dicks, so be careful when you're the home. It's science. You can't argue with science. Thank you very much for coming out. Atlanta. You sure? Are you positive? There you have it. Can we can we go now, Justin? Or are you okay? Get you a sandwich or something? You alright? Have a banana. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. Can you turn that flash thing off? It's annoying. Turn it off. I'm gonna see how drunk you are right now. When I say let's go, you say Panthers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to forgive you for the rude and inconsiderate way 
You treated my home state of Arizona the other day. And because we appreciate a good team, we're going to do a bunch of songs about anal sex and stuff. I smell marijuana. That's illegal. Smells like New Orleans. I may have been led astray and in a way violated. You see, I'm not from around here. I'm not the kind of grumpy prick that goes to things like Mardi Gras, so I need to check something. There's an exchange that happens. You do a thing and you get some beads. That's what I understand. Tim Dawson, I need you to toss this fist in the ring on, on this one. I need some information. What is it that you do to get the beads? What is it? Show your tits. God, I feel like an asshole. You have no idea what I did to have to get these. Fuck you, New Orleans, for raping my fucking innocence, you assholes. Anal beads. This is Tim Dawson. And speaking of anal beads, if you can't beat them, join them, right? But now I know the whole story. I'm not afraid of your tiny little beads around your neck. Enjoy uh, Fat Tuesday and all the craziness that comes with that. We won't be here. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>